Okay, so I have a bit of a recurring theme at the moment of memory for computers and stuff like that. What might this possibly be, might you think, uh, with that in mind? Well, if you've read the title, of course, you know what this, this is. This is basically an adapter for a USB card reader to allow you to put stuff like these little smart cards and whatnot. What's the actual proper term for these? SD cards and so on and so forth. Why isn't the autofocus autofocusing? Because autofocus is a joke. Yeah, it's meant for something like this to be able to plug into uh, through a USB adapter into a computer that doesn't have an SD card slot. Like what my current PC doesn't have. Yeah, one of the drawbacks. It was the cheapest gaming rig I could buy for the best amount of money and so on and so forth. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't have an SD card reader. I completely missed that when I was reading through it. And the fact that it's only got a one terabyte drive. Well, knowing how much use of these I get, and the fact that one terabyte drive actually fills up a lot faster than even I realised it would, uh, yeah, I didn't really think that through properly, did I? Anyhow, you've got these little instructions. It does actually come with a protective cover for that, uh, for the actual USB port itself. Unfortunately, I've managed to lose it. Yeah. And the instructions themselves, well, well, let's just take a look. Insert a micro SD card or SDXC stroke MMT card into the corresponding port on the card receiver. Insert the card reader into available USB, A port on your computer, host or laptop. Once the card reader has successfully connected to the computer, the blue LED indicator will illuminate. You can now transfer or rewrite data in your media card. And it just goes on like that. So this isn't some sort of uh, cheap Chinese or other um, uh, Eastern Asia kind of thing. This is actually written in good, solid, well-written, well-understood English. It's got quite a few nice little functions there, but of course my autofocus is continuing to go crazy. But you can see the SD card there, and there's a micro SD card there as well. So, what you are supposed to do is just basically slot your card in like that, poke that into the USB port, and of course that light will flash on like so. And you can do the same with the SD micro as well. So this obviously works. It works very, very well, I have to admit. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. It makes up for the fact that I don't have an actual SD card reader. The one thing I'm a little annoyed about um, is that there's other versions where you have on the other end a micro SD connection, which is perfect for at least certain kinds of phones anyhow. Um, if you've got a, co uh, a phone that doesn't have that particular, particular USB reader uh, connected port, you'd be a bit buggered. And had I known about those, I probably would have gotten that first, because then that would have been better for me in general purposes to, you know, transfer files from my, my camera, my uh, DSLR, which is what I'm using to film right now, onto a memory card like this, through this, into the phone. Uh, rather than taking the SD card out and putting in something like this, or alternatively, put it into something like this, which is just basically a pass-through device. So it's exactly the same size as far as the plastic is concerned, as far as this SD card, you just put, put the micro SD, come on autofocus, you put the micro SD in there, plug that into whatever you want to use it from, and you can read details that way. Again, handy if you don't have a micro SD card reader in your PC or laptop, which is exactly one of the situations I'm in, as my <laughs> computer just does not have any kind of SD card readers. It's got plenty of USB ports though. But had I known about the other ones, I'd have gotten one of those instead. It works absolutely fine. The fa file transfers all depend on how much uh, memory there is, how fast your computer is, and so on and so forth, how large the files are. It doesn't really make any real difference in the long term. It works, and it works quite nicely. Um, otherwise, of, certainly, of course, if you want to transfer files from your PC to your phone or vice versa, so long as you've got the right USB leads, you can do it that way. But these are still worthwhile looking at for any number of other reasons, I think. Including just, you know, having one more piece of tech to show off. Yeah, I like it. It's good. It still works. See you next time.